And despite repeated friendly overtures being made by India, Sri Lanka has once again snubbed us by opening Lankan ports to Chinese attack submarines, this despite stern warnings coming from India repeatedly. Now, absolutely. While uh, India has expressed displeasure over this latest development, Sri Lanka seems to have shown where its interests lie. Barely two months after this handshake in the capital, China continues to challenge the new Indian government, this time taking the Lanka route. This is the second time in the past two months that Lanka has snubbed India by allowing the Chinese nuke subs to enter its docks. Interestingly, Lanka's green signal to the Chinese nuke sub coming shortly after Vietnam Premier's visit to India. From the troop incursions at the Ladakh border to building rail and road network in Arunachal Pradesh border areas. China has constantly threatened India. And for India, the concerns are twofold. First, China getting more aggressive and then Sri Lanka, which has now shown India where its strategic interests lie. Bureau Report, Times Now. Well, Times Now's National Affairs Editor Shunjoy Chaudhary has spoken to Mohan Samaranaike, he's the presidential spokesperson of Sri Lanka, about how this could hamper ties between India and Sri Lanka. I really don't see any, any kind of things, but we need to adm admit the fact that between any country, however much friendly they are, there can be some disagreements, disputes, but they can be amicably settled. For example, we know very uh, well that there is, a, is, there is an issue between the two countries regarding these uh, fish, uh, fishermen fishing in the territorial waters of the uh, two countries. There, there are things like that. But these th things... These matters can be discussed and, and amicably settled. I don't see any reason for such uh, minor matters uh, will become uh, will harm the existing very cordial and friendly relations between the two nations. Foreign ships, uh, sometimes naval uh, vessels, have been calling the port of Colombo for a long time from friendly countries not only China. And now we're joined by Shamindra uh, Ferdinando, who's a journalist from Colombo, and also Sebel Das Gupta, who is the Times of India correspondent from Beijing. But I want to ask you first uh, about uh, uh, the, the first question that I would like to ask is to Shamindra, how do you think this is going to end up uh, impacting the relations between the two countries, if at all? Sri Lanka, uh, there, should not, there should not be any restrictions on Sri Lanka to, to, to have relationship with China, Pakistan or any other country. And then India must realize that uh, the government of Sri Lanka has no ill feeling or any bad intentions towards India. Well, Mr. Saibal, now Chinese submarines dropped in Sri Lanka despite India raising objections with Colombo. Now, what kind of strategic significance uh, does this development really mean for India? China has come out with a map of the Maritime Silk Road program. And the map shows China in the middle of the whole universe of 20 countries. So that is the universe China is trying to target and it wants to command that. The biggest challenge to that universe for China is India. Because look at the other countries. They're all countries which are heavily dependent on Chinese machinery, trade, equipment, fi finance. And Sri Lanka is one of them. The other side, you have Pakistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal, and then you have the entire Central Asia, Kazakhstan, and all those countries. You have Myanmar. So the biggest challenge that China ever will face will, is Japan and India. On the other hand, Japan and US might able, be able to influence Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Vietnam. So China is doing this whole thing as part of a larger 20-year program to command tremendous and total influence over Asia and part of Central Asia.
back home, the Congress has now demanded that the Indian government talk tough with China. Let's listen into the first reaction we are getting. Alat din ba din kharaab hote ja rahe hain China ko leka. Kabi wo hamari territory ke andar ghusata hai. Kabi wo Aruna Chal Pradesh ke andar a jata hai. Kabi hamari fojiyon ko parishan karta hai. Or ab je ek naya waqe aap bata rahe hain ke wo paani ke raaste koshish kar raha hai. ये बहुत दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है और ऐसा लगता है कि सरकार बिल्कुल खामोश तमाशाई बनी हुई है चाइना के साथ सख्ती के साथ बात करनी पड़ेगी और हमारी सरकार को चाहिए कि चाइना की ये गलत फहमी भी दूर करे कि हम चाइना के मुकाबले में कोई कमजोर देश हैं Mr. Ferdinando, if we could come back to you now. Now, despite the growing concern uh, that India has often voiced over allowing a Chinese attack submarine to dock at a Lankan port, Sri Lanka seems to have uh, done it again. They've again permitted another Chinese submarine. Now we see, uh, we have seen reports of uh, India expressing concern over a Chinese submarine visits to Sri Lanka in the recent past. But I must tell you that uh, we have... Uh, received submarines not only from China, even from Iran. And Sri Lanka has a long-standing agreement uh, with USA to accommodate US ships, aircraft, and any other vessel in Sri Lankan ports and airports. Uh, it's called, um, it's called access, uh, AXA, it's um, access and cross service agreement. So, so uh, uh, you must realize that that uh, Sri Lanka's relationship with uh, the international community it involves a lot of countries, and uh, I must tell you that uh, Sri Lanka's defense cooperation uh, with India is at a very high high level, and um, there were recent reports of uh, Sri Lanka uh, planning to ships from India. So, uh, I must tell you that there is no reason for Delhi to be concerned about Chinese military presence here. 